Hi, I'm Josh Ackman with Park Industries Customer Service Department. On this video, we are going to show you how to check to see if your booster pump is um, functioning properly and replacing your booster pump. So we started out here, we already ran the intensifier and uh, we got a low inlet water pressure alarm. Um, that means that the booster pump is not boosting your pressure up enough. It should at minimum double your incoming water pressure. So if you have 40 PSI coming in, you should have 80 PSI on your gauges, on your um, intensifier there. And we'll walk through that here. Ideally, we do like to see you getting up to 100 PSI, but uh, it, whatever you can get that works there. So we'll walk over to the intensifier here. We're just going to do a bypass on this so we can run the intensifier from this screen here. OK, we're over at the intensifier now. So what we're going to check here, one thing I do notice is we have a bad on off valve. We're getting 40 PSI when it's shut down. So that'll be another video we'll shoot for you there. But uh, we want to, um, we should be sitting at zero. Our incoming water pressure is obviously 40 PSI. So we should be building at minimum of 80 PSI there on that. So we're going to start up this intensifier here and watch our gauges. You can see they're climbing, but barely climbing. That should only take a couple seconds to get up to pressure there. When you do do this, make sure you do have your water on on your intensifier. So they are not climbing. So that means our booster pump is not working. So we do need to replace our booster pump. We're gonna go on the back side of the intensifier and we will show you how to walk through on replacing that booster pump then. Okay, we're gonna start by shutting our water off. We're, I'm just gonna do machine and intensifier there. And we'll come down here by our booster pump. So this is our booster pump. So this is our booster pump motor. Yours may vary, but we're going to start by removing the red clips on this. I'm just going to use a wrench to hold that hose. Take note of your hoses, which ones you're in and you're out beforehand if you need to there. Might be a little water pressure yet. If uh, you didn't drain it down, you can go to your filters and relieve some pressure there by pushing that red button. Then we'll just start by taking the bolts out for the booster pump. We are not going to loosen the coupler or anything quite yet. All right, so then we're just going to wiggle that booster pump a little bit and the coupler will come off with it. You also will have this rubber cush drive here. It might stay inside yours. You can do whichever one you want, whichever one it comes with. Then the first thing we're going to do is measure how far this gap is between the pump and the coupler. So then we can set our coupler right away with the, onto the new one. So here we have about just over a 16th there. Take our coupler off, just loosen that up. And the coupler will slide right off our booster pump motor. I'm going to take our coupler, slide it onto our boost pump motor, making sure my set screw is lined up with the flat side. And set our distance again. Oh, 
lock our double check our distance and lock off our our set screw here. We'll take the plugs out. Okay, we're gonna make sure we swap over our fittings here. Yours is looking pretty rough. You can put some Teflon tape on your fittings also. Okay, so once you have that, we can slide our pump back on. If you want, you can make sure your set screws for there are across from each other to balance a little better. We'll just slide that in. I'm gonna rotate it to line up our bolts. And we're just gonna snug them bolts up. And then once you're tight here, you can make sure that the gap, if you took note at the beginning, that the gap inside the two couplers there are Look the, look the same as before. If not, you can loosen that coupler up and move that coupler so that is tight there. Once we have that locked down, we'll return our lines. And then just clip in our red retainer clips. Now we will turn our water on and uh, make sure that we don't have any leaks. You can pull on these lines a little bit to make sure they fully locked on. And then we'll start up our booster pump in our intensifier here and see what kind of water pressure we're building. Okay, now that we have our booster pump on, we're just gonna double check, see what we're building up to of pressure. So you can see right now we're down at zero PSI and we're just gonna start up our pump. And you can see how quickly these climb here. Now everything's hasn't been purged, so it takes a little bit the first time, but straight up is 80 PSI. So we already hit our double and we'll see what needs or what it climbs up to. Now there's no need to really go above 120 PSI. Looks like we're sitting about 100, 105 right now and our tense fire starts switching. If you need to, if you do need to adjust your pressure, um, whether it's way too high or it's too low, you can come over here. Now on the predictive pumps, you can adjust it from the manifold on the Fusions or um, the Dynamax 350 pumps. You're going to have a valve right by your booster pump and you can adjust. On the predictive pump, it's right here, this regulator. Just pop that knob out and turn it um, left or right, whichever way you need to go to get more pressure or less pressure. And then lock that knob back in. As always, if you have any questions with uh, anything here, give us a call and we'd be glad to help. Thank you.